Hello everybody and welcome back to another book review. Today I'm here to review the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon strategy guide. Now it's kind of hard to say how I feel about this game because I actually do not own the game. I'm hoping to get a 3DS pretty soon along with a copy of either Pokemon Sun or Moon. But from what I could see through gameplays online and the strategy guide, it seems like a really awesome game and I'm hoping this Christmas I can afford it and buy it for myself and start playing it. I was super excited when I heard that there was a new Pokemon game coming out and when they showed these two mascots and, you know, the Alola Island of how they took over the, you know, they did studies about, you know, the tropical islands. I really liked how they did that this year. It just seemed like this year was just tropical islands and stuff. Maybe the marketing for tourism is slower, something in that region, and they need more people to come there. Anyway, let's dive right into this book, guys, because I am just so excited. Uh, I have to keep it on this angle, because if I were to do it like right underneath my light, it would just glow. And as you could see, this book is very shiny. They did a, an amazing job with the cover. I mean, it's nothing special, but, you know, I really like how they made the mascots this year. So, Galio, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's like a, I don't know, lion, I think. It must be. It looks like a lion. And then Lunala, I think, is a bat. I'm not sure. Anyways, these two have really nice designs, and I really like them. I will try my hardest not to spoil as much, but there's no guarantees because I'm doing a walkthrough of this book. And here, this comes with it. It's like the Pokedex saying it doesn't really give a specific date where it comes out, but you know, it says, you know, available in 2017. You know, no idea when that will be. Hopefully, it's not too, you know. Maybe somewhere in February or something. That would be nice. Anyways, let's dive right into it. So as your typical strategy guide, there isn't much about the Pokemon. They give a brief description in the back about who, what Pokemon you will find. But if you want bios or anything like that, this probably isn't the game or the book for you to get right now. But it goes really nice into detail about the characters and the starters. Of course, there's a lot of maps, so if you need to find that specific Pokemon or that one item or a Pokeball that you couldn't find, you know, this is your book. And I'm just going to kind of zoom through it here. I really like how they, like, also added new Alola forms. How, like, that Exitor is, like, part dragon now. I don't quite understand that, but, I mean, that's cool. And, yeah, I mean, you get to learn about the gym leaders and their Pokemons and the new Pokemon ride system seems really awesome too and there's a whole bunch of gyms and you know roots caves and this game actually expanded way more on their gameplay because they added four islands and each island has their own island guardian I know Tapu Koko is one of them but the other ones I just don't remember them but they did a really nice job of showing you the Pokemon. And this is Alola Raichu. It's an electric slash psychic type. I have to admit, I think some of the typing is a little weird. And some of the Alola forms look kind of strange. But I mean, I'm happy that they're branching out and making them look a little bit more different than they have. And of course, there's brand new Pokemon. We have a Rowlet and Linton and what's the other one? Pablio? I really like them. I think when I get the game, hopefully this Christmas, I think I'm going with Linton. Rowlet's my second close favorite, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil too much. I think the last page I'll show is they added a new species to this game. I think, I don't know. It's something like Beast. I can't remember the name of the beast, but they added like these beast things that are in the game. And they're not Pokemon, but they come from like space or something. And I mean, you can capture them, but they look like Pokeballs, but they're like kind of spaced out Pokeballs. That's kind of cool. 
Anyway, I won't spoil any more for you guys. I probably already showed way too much. Um, if you're wondering how much this book retails for, it is quite more expensive than the, you know, previous guides that I have picked up. But if we can get a good close-up here without my shadow getting in the way, maybe we can move it right over here. Oh, that's a bad glare. Well, there we go. So it's $24.99 in the U.S., $30.99 in Canada, and $44.95 in Australia. Ooh. Sorry, Australia. Anyways, guys, that's kind of it for my book review. It's quick and short, and I'm super happy that I'm back and making videos for you guys. I ordered a couple more books, so hopefully they will be coming soon. Maybe I can scrounge around and see if I can find any more books to review. I know there's a couple of them that I would really like to review for you guys. Uh, no really reason why I haven't been on YouTube. I've just been busy. And there has been a lot of exciting news, and we have hit the 71 subscriber mark. Almost 100. That's like 30 people from 100 subscribers. I mean, if we reach that mark, that would just be amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you would like. Like and share this video if you would like as well. Comment down below if you would like. I love reading your guys' comments. And even if you dislike this video, at least you take the time to watch this video. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stuning, uh, stuning in, tuning in. And I'll be back again for another book review very soon. Thank you, guys, and have a great rest of your day.